Here we are at the 2011 Arizona Taco Festival in uh, downtown Scottsdale, Arizona, right out on the waterfront actually. And if you were here last year, you can already see this is much bigger than it was last year. There's over 40 taco vendors, there's a tequila tent, a chili eating contest, burrito eating contest, Lucha Libre wrestling. We're gonna check it all out, see what we can find. Let's do it. Carney Asada going here with words as it's referred to at this point. Enjoy? Yep. Did you have a great time? Thank you. Okay, I'm here with Colin uh, El Toro Barbecue, and look at this beautiful trophy behind him. Look at that. Yeah. Well, this is the most important part. This is the part that says Arizona Taco Festival, 2010, first place in the chicken taco category. Nice. So, um, is that uh, just what you guys are doing? Just the one taco? It's not what I do, but it's what Mark Vonderland does here. Okay. He's my chicken specialist. Um, I actually did a worldwide search for somebody to help me in this category because I was really not good at it. And I found him and it's just, well, there you go. Well, let's, let's see one of these award-winning tacos. Oh, well, they're long gone. They're long gone. Yeah, we had such, it was so popular and we had, there was such a buzz around this trophy and around Mark being here. It's kind of like um, if uh, George Lindell, you know, bam, you know, the guy, <laughs> if he was here, I mean, it's like he's that guy. So people, I'm feeling the energy off yeah. all the way over here already. So people came and they just, it just cleaned us out, cleaned us out. Nice, congratulations, Thank guys. You. Thank you. for the fry bread. Must be good. Okay, um, here we are. Where are we at? We're at Ralph's Snack Bar. Uh, we've got the mobile catering trucks and we've got a good variety of full-size tacos. Hey, what are you guys entering in the competition today? Well, we've, we've actually done it all. We've done uh, asada, we've done pork, we've done chicken. Our secret weapon is our lengua and our cabeza, head meat taco. That's the way to go. Uh, we, we take the head and we cook, up, we cook that up, pull all the meat off. Uh, you put that with a little bit of pico de gallo, some cabbage, some cheese, and salsa, and you're good to go. Nice, sounds awesome. Let's uh, try one of the cabeza. Yeah, you want to try it? Yeah. Okay. Super it's very beefy, it's good. You can smell this, wow. Put a little lime on it. Wow, that is so soft. Really, really good. It's got a ton of flavor. It's, it's really hot though. The meat is really hot. But it's good. Thank you. We're at the uh, Macayos tent. We got a nice little spread going here. We got some lobster tacos, some carnitas, and some uh, what else we got there? Chicken taquitos and a beer. We're at the uh, the famous uh, tea cooks booth this year with uh, Chef Lee, and um, what what's, uh, category did you enter in? Sidecar. Sidecar? Sidecar, yeah, we're doing uh, wild mushroom tacos. Nice. We're looking out for the vegetarians. Nice, somebody's got to. I was wondering if you were gonna do this, I thought David taunted you enough times that you'd have to come <laughs> in and do it. The funny thing is we'd already decided we were gonna do it when he started taunting. Right. So, we, we pretty much, uh, I think we called his bluff. 
just standing here, this smells really good. In this we have cojita, tomatoes, um, lettuce, and then a uh, avocado sour cream. And then the mushrooms are tossed in like paprika and onion salt and cayenne, just a bunch of spices. smell vision You gotta get your laughing gear around there. Wow, that is good. It's intense. Those mushrooms taste like beef. <laughs> Tell that to the non-meat eaters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, no, that's what this is. These mushrooms are the gateway drug into the beef next. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. They will be turning, turning back. Thank you. Cheers. a minimum of a year, right? Yes, that one's actually aged a year and a half in whiskey barrels, Jack Daniels barrels. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a really, really good sipping tequila. Definitely is. You can sip on it, eat some cheese, and enjoy some nice spicy food. Okay. I never thought about, um, I never thought about pairing uh, tequila with cheese. I'm going to have to try that. That sounds good. And actually, tequila and cigars really good as well. Well, I want to say something about the um, Añejo. We won double gold medal in the World Spirits Competition in San Francisco. And this is our, uh, the double gold medal means that uh, 21 judges um, vote for unanimously for, you know, giving a yeah. uh, thumbs up for the tequila. Otherwise, you will get one gold medal. So that being said, this speaks really highly about the tequila, you know, the quality of it. Yeah, you, you definitely get uh, um, some of the whiskey characteristics out of it. Yeah, they come from the uh, whiskey barrel, Chuck Daniels. Yeah, I love it. Cheers. Being a judge, that sounds like that'd be a lot of fun. You just get asked. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, there is a long line for our job. Yeah. I think I'm, you would have a lot of volunteers today. You go around kind of like the whole country and the world doing this kind of thing, don't you? I do, yeah. I spend uh, about five days of the month in Las Vegas, the rest of the time um, on the road. Uh, a lot of it's spent in the United States, but going to Greece next week. Um, I, yeah. Um, what kind of are some of the things that you're looking for in a margarita when you're judging them? For me, I'm looking for balance. 
I'm looking for authenticity, and I'm looking for creativity. Uh, again, it's a margarita competition, so first of all, you want to make sure that the drink meets the requirements of a margarita. Is the tequila first and foremost present? Uh, is there a balance of acidity and sweetness? And is there an orange element, generally coming from an orange liqueur? After that, it's how you put those ingredients together and your creative use of other ingredients that complement the flavor profile of the margarita. Uh, well, you know, we, we judged on appearance, judged on uh, creativity, and the last category, which counted for the most, about 50% of the vote, was taste how balanced it was. This one here is really good. Do you know where this one is from that we're trying now? Yeah, this is from our friends at Patron. Um, we have a little agave nectar, some fresh lime juice, and they've infused the uh, Patron tequila with fresh pineapple and ginger. Okay, so what were your three favorites then? Uh, I think what, one of the first was by Rich from the Casablanca Lounge. He actually muddled some coffee beans. But it still tasted like a margarita. It had some fresh pineapple juice, uh, tres agave plata tequila. Uh, it was really it was great. It was great. The presentation, execution was excellent. Cool. I think one of the second ones we liked was Aaron from uh, down in Tucson, actually, who came up to do the competition. His margarita had rosemary and pear and agave nectar and really tasted more like a classic margarita with some creativity to it. He served it up and we found it really balanced. Well, Danielle from the Fairmont, um, she really brought all those elements together. She brought the orange, but she brought it in the way of fresh squeezed blood, blood orange juice. Uh, the tequila was definitely supporting all the other flavors. She did a really fun rim that really worked with the other ingredients in the drink where she toasted uh, roasted peppers and chilies and used a little salt and it played beautifully um, against the agave and the tequila. And for me, I mean, it looked visually beautiful. Uh, the aromatics, the complexity, the creativity, but at the end, the flavor won out for me over the rest of the drinks. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Yep. All right, thanks for checking out this episode of Discovering the Highland. We'll see you next time. Thanks.